Welcome to the Carriage House, a place where you can find comfort and cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. It's a beautiful spring afternoon and I'm harvesting some of our rhubarb that I will transform, hopefully, into a sweet and tart warm cobbler later. The weather here has been quite crazy. Some days it's very chilly and other days it's quite the opposite. But today has been a nice a nice day and a light sweater helps keep the tiny chill from the wind at bay but it's been so beautiful to see everything bursting back into life in the garden once again Now that the rhubarb has been picked, I decided to come inside and make a warm cup of herbal tea with mint leaves that I just picked and just to sip on while I make the cobbler. I love having fresh mint growing in the garden. It's so easy to make a simple tea and mint is so good for you. It can help with lots of tummy woes. It's great for easing stress and wonderful for oral health. Now I just simply added very hot water not quite to the boiling stage because I don't want to burn the delicate leaves of the mint and I let the mint steep for about five minutes and then I added a little bit of golden honey to it and that's pretty much it. has been made I decided to get started on making that rhubarb cobbler and this is actually the first time I've made cobbler from rhubarb I've made many crisps pies jellies and jams from rhubarb but not a cobbler so I was hoping to find one in my old order Amish cookbook that I love but I didn't and I do have a classic cobbler recipe that I love to use with peaches and berries and things like that but was wanting to find a more specific recipe on rhubarb barb cobbler since rhubarb isn't quite as soft as berries and peaches so but I end up finding one from the pioneer woman so we'll see how it turns out and I would love to know if you have a favorite cobbler recipe that you can you can always share with us I always love making those classics that I've used for years and years but I also love to try out new recipes as well so I just rinsed and going to chop my rhubarb and start making this cobbler we're supposed to get some rain late this afternoon and tonight so I'm really excited. Seems like a good night to cozy up to a, a warm blanket, maybe a cup of tea and cobbler and maybe a, just a good book.
So after the cobbler was made and put into the oven, I decided to clean up before making dinner. And there's nothing more frustrating than cooking in a messy kitchen. So I took a few minutes to do that and run another load of dishes in the dishwasher. And by that time, I started making dinner. And I'm making a lentil soup. And this recipe, I'm definitely going to share with you. It's very healthy. It's delicious. It's vegetarian. And it has a wonderful combination of spices. And it's just very easy to make. And so I'm going to start chopping my onion and carrot. I have my glass of wine I'm going to sip on. I'm going to turn on some calming music while I finish preparing dinner. just finished washing the lentils and going to add them to the soup. The cobbler is bubbly and browned and ready to be taken out of the oven. And again, I'm really hoping for rain tonight. The clouds are beginning to darken a little, which seems promising. I'm going to finish dinner 
put the little ones to bed. I probably should fold a load of laundry, which I'm not really looking forward to, but I know it needs to be done and maybe if it rains, it'll help ease the load a little. 